Welcome to 160 Partridge Hill Drive in West Columbia. This is a three bedroom, two full bath home. Has a circular driveway in the front. Also a two car rear carport, fence backyard, storage shed, and hard surface flooring throughout. So we're out in the front yard. As you can see, you have some nice mature landscaping out here, circular driveway, out in the front of the home that's convenient for guests or just having multiple vehicles. You have a nice attractive sort of contemporary style facade with the stone from the fireplace or the chimney going up in the center. You can see nice large windows out front as well. There is a second driveway also as you can see here where the other side of the mailbox is that goes up and around to the side or the rear of the property rather and you can see at the very back there there's a carport. We'll be able to see that from the from the inside of the home as well. So we'll go back towards the front door. You have a nice sidewalk here, a walkway leading up, and then a few stairs up. Side light on the side of the front door. And as we step inside, you have hardwood floors, real hardwood as you enter the home that have been nicely refinished. Neutral paint throughout as well. There's some decorative sort of dental crown molding and chair rail molding here in the foyer and the hallway off to the right there. Immediately to your right there is a coat closet. Complimentary has some shelving in there also. Our bedrooms, our secondary bedrooms are down on that side, but we'll take a look at the living space and the master side of the house first. So you have a nice large family or living room and vaulted ceilings you can see here with exposed beams, ceiling fan, and the other side of that fireplace. You can see nice stone going all the way up, nice mantle and hearth, and what looked like gas logs inside of the fireplace itself. Two large, or a couple large sets of windows take up that whole wall outside of it that overlook the front yard. And all of that is looking towards the kitchen. So you have a pass through to the kitchen and dining area with a counter bar there, you can see that kind of extends out a little bit and that passes through into the kitchen itself and it's a little bit deeper on that side. You have tile floors in the kitchen, dining area, and those continue into the laundry room as well. Solid surface countertops in the kitchen here and mostly stainless appliances. There's a wall oven. You do have a microwave included, side-by-side -side refrigerator and dishwasher. And then you have the actual smooth top range in the countertop itself. White cabinets, nice arch over the kitchen window looking out over the backyard. And then in the dining area here, right off of it, you have a laundry closet, full size washer and dryer connections, some cabinets above. And then at the back here, you have French doors going out. Get that unlocked. The second door on this side does open as well. So there's a true French door, but it's in place right now to not move. And you have a nice large deck off the back of the house. Wood deck, and it's sort of the two levels. It goes down to some more deck space there. And a fenced backyard as well, some chain link fencing around, and you sort of back up to kind of a wooded area back there for some privacy. And then you have some slats kind of separating off the carport that you can again see from the other side of the driveway and then if you go on through there you can see there's a gate to more of the backyard and there is a storage shed not sure if you can see that but we'll try to include a picture right in front of that gate where you can store some items and this room not able to access at the time of the video but it does have sort of a sunroom um, through that door it looks out over the uh, carport and you can sort of see it through the windows of a couple of the indoor bedrooms on the other side which we'll take a look at now but you should have access to that if you rent the property just not able to access at the time of the video again down the hall right off the entry again you have another coat closet here excuse me another linen closet on this side and I realize now that I forgot to show you the master but we'll make sure we circle back and then two bedrooms off of this side of the hall. And again, you can see sort of out to 
that space out there kind of runs along the length of here in the next room over, but not able to access at the moment. Nice size closet, sort of a small walk-in for the bedroom here. Then you have your second bedroom or third bedroom total on this side. And it has a walk-in closet as well. Space on both sides there. And then you do have a full bathroom that those share. I believe similar countertops to the kitchen in here. And a nice size mirror. You have a window. And that hardwood, the hardwood floor continues into here also. Some hexagonal tile on the bathroom floor. The bed is a cabinet over the commode and a shower and tub. Another window in there as well. And not sure if you've noticed, but the floors in here are slightly different. They're a lighter color laminate hardwood. But right back across the living room, on the other side of the kitchen, you do have your master suite. And the real hardwoods do continue into there everywhere except for the bathroom. The ceiling fan in this room, and it looks out over the backyard. So all three bedrooms, I believe, are back facing. And then you have the sink. You can see open to the room. Similar countertop, solid surface in there again. And then over here, your bathroom. You have some, looks like ceramic tile flooring. Another sort of large tall window. Some cabinets alongside the jacuzzi tub here also. And you also have a shower there. And then on the opposite side, you have your walk-in closet. See shelving in the middle. And then your hanging space on either side. So that completes our tour of this home in West Columbia. Again, the address is 160 West Partridge Drive. Or excuse me, check that address again um, on the title of the video. But you can find more information by visiting turnerproperties.com.